Hi everybody, welcome to Granny J. Clay today. I'm going to teach you today how to make my, what I call, accordion necklace. Um, I made this the other evening and then I decided I would put kind of a roping around the edges. So I did that. Let me turn it around and just show you. But this is what we're going to make today. We're not going to do the roping, but I'll show you the tool that I use to make the roping. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy it. I have a new, t I knew a new uh, tool. So let's get busy here and I'm going to switch, sorry about that, I'm going to switch down to my work surface and hopefully you'll be able to see that well enough. Um, here is my new tool, it's called the corrugator and it is really awesome. I just love it and it comes apart like this. You put your clay in between here and then you bring the handles down and you apply the pressure and you you turn this knob. Now this is made for tin um, and you, I'm sure you've seen corrugated cardboard too but I thought I wanted to try it on clay and the first time I tried it I just tried it on raw clay. Today I'm going to use Primo clay, the wasabi color but I tried it on raw clay and of course that just didn't work. I put some cornstarch on it and tried to run it through again and it just broke apart. It wasn't working. And so I have decided, um, or I decided to use wax paper. And I have pre-cut this piece. I know in my last video I said I was going to show you everything, but today, uh, due to lack of time and needing to get the video up as well before I go out of town, I cut a piece of the wasabi clay in um, about two and a half by four inches in length and then I place that piece of clay in between a piece of wax paper as you can see and so as I run it through the corrugator then it won't get stuck to it so let's just try that right now and just remember as you put this in and you are the one that's going to apply the pressure as you bring the handle down and um, I don't know if I have it right yet, but I have been learning and trying to roll it with ease. And sometimes I apply too much pressure and it breaks. So we'll see what happens today, okay? So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to lay it in between. And I'm going to line it up. And then I'm going to apply a little pressure. And um, I'll begin to roll it through and I can watch it as it comes out to see how it's coming. It's coming out well. This is good. This is good. So you keep doing it until you get it all the way through. And that's the corrugator. Isn't that cool? And I was a little bit stumped with this tool, not knowing exactly how to use it or what to do with it, but when I came up with this necklace I thought, oh that would work for that. And now I actually have thought of a couple of other things that I would like to make with it. So stay tuned. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to put um, the website below. It's called um, Green Stuff, uh, www.greenstuff.com. So you can buy one of those if you want to. I think it was about $10. So now that I have this here, I'm going to set this aside. In fact, I think I have, I brought it up on my iPad so you could see it. Yes, here it is. Okay, it's Green Stuff World. So if you can see that, and there's the corrugator, Green Stuff World. So if you want to go on their website, and no, I'm not being sponsored by them at all. I just happened to find this. They have other neat things on there as well. All right, so there's that. Now I'm going to open this up, and what I do is I lay it down, and then I hold it. And I just kind of pull it back and then I flip it over and I do the very same thing. I hold on to it and voila. One side is a little deeper than the other side so I use the deeper side. Can you see that? And at this point I, I don't want this wider edge and so I'm just going to take my blade and cut that off a little bit. I'm going to cut this end off to make it a little bit more even. As it goes through the corrugator, it, it kind of, um, well, it loses something a little bit. Now what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to take it, flip it over, but I'm going to bend it over and line it up best I can and just kind of tap, tap, tap it down. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. There you go. And that's the beginning. Turn it around. We're leaving a gap inside, obviously. And now what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to form it. So I'm going to bring, oh, make sure it doesn't come apart, tap a little bit more. And I'm going to bring it around. Just kind of bring it around easily like that. Do you see how it sort of stretches that out a little bit? All right, kind of watch that. Make sure that I still have a, if I don't, if I feel like I'm losing the hole a little bit, I stick a little stick in there and just kind of keep it in there and, and uh, keep the hole open. And then what I'm gonna do is take a cookie cutter, a lot, this really large cookie cutter. This is a, what is it? Four inch cookie cutter. You can use whatever size you want. And I'm going to just kind of trim it a little bit I don't know if you can see it this way. Let me turn it around and do it for you that way. All right, I've got some, looks like I've got some residue from another clay project on the bottom of that, so I'll trim it off. All right, and I'm just going to kind of go in just a little ways, not very far, and I'm going to trim it up. Okay, there we go. Now I will continue to bring it around as far as I want to bring it around. It depends on you really uh, how you want to do this. I see that there's a little tip there that I don't want. So I'm going to take it off. Take this one off too so they kind of match. All right, here's my X-Acto knife there. But it's just as easy as that. Just as easy as that. Then I take a straw and I take one end of the straw where I want my rivets and I want to go in a little ways so I'm going to put it about right there. I want to make sure I have enough margin on each side and then turn the straw around, tap that down a little bit, make sure I, I you put it, push it in and you turn it. Yes, this is one of the tools that's cheaper, <laughs> a drinking straw. All right, so now we have that done. And at this point in time, what I want to do is um, put the perfect pearls on, actually, before I put the rivets in. So what I'm gonna do, like I've done before, is I'm going to lift this up very carefully, Put a piece of paper towel down, and we'll reshape it again in a minute after I put perfect pearls on. Let me just put this away so I don't cut my cut my finger on it. All right. And you know I love perfect pearls and everything shiny. So let's see what this looks like on this necklace. I'll just do kind of half of it. Ooh, that's pretty. It it sort of changes it to a different color, but it's really pretty. I'm going to do just half of it so you can see the difference here. Make sure you, you'll have to turn it over and do the back as well, of course. And as you can see, I'm kind of pushing it down as I go, so I don't want to lose my hole. I don't want to lose the space. So I'm going to go back in and just kind of puff it up a little bit here. There we go. And make sure I get the edges around here. Now, I don't know. And then I'm going to just kind of brush it a little because it keeps it, it makes it a little bit more shiny. And like I said, when you use perfect pearls, um, you want to use a mask. When I'm not on camera, I do that. But, all right. Can you tell the difference? Isn't that pretty? It just really perks it right up. So I'm gonna continue here just real quickly. And 
I'm going to finish this part and then we'll flip it over and we'll do the other side as well. Now I would no normally take a lot longer to do this but since it's uh, on camera and we want to save a little time I'll just hurry. And then when I go off camera I'll do my touching up. All right. And I'm going to flip it and I'll turn this around this way so you can see. What a difference in the color. Once this is baked, the perfect pearls really pop. And of course, when you use perfect pearls, you're going to want to seal, seal your work. Um, we don't want it rubbing off. I use a spray shellac to seal my work. And um, I've used uh, Verithane that I bought at Home Depot. Kind of a a clear varnish in a can so you can choose what you want and um, go to the blue bottle tree and find out what's best that's another website that's awesome all right that's all I'm going to do there and I'm going to get another stick I'm going to close my perfect pearls up here set my set this apart here so I don't get it all over the place and I'm going to turn it back over. <clears throat> I'm going to put another stick inside and just kind of bump it up a little bit. Okay, just bump it up a little bit so it looks more fluffy. Now, at this point, I'm going to place my little rivets in carefully. There you go. And then now is the time that you can take it and shape it the way you want. You can just take it and shape it the way you want to. And um, yeah, that, I'm taking a tool and just kind of smoothing the edge out, but it really is helpful if you just pick it up and smooth the inside edge a little bit with your hand. You know, your hands are your best tools in clay. All right, so that is, isn't that cute? <laughs> you, you know, really, you can do so many different things with this necklace, just using different kinds of clay and um, I just thought it was pretty and I hope you like it too. So that is what I call my accordion necklace uh, or phone cord necklace, whatever you want to call it. And I hope you will get busy and make something like this. Um, like I said, if you order the corrugator, it's not that much money um, and it'll just give you something new to play with and kind of fun to play with. Here is what I used to make the rope around here. I put two, I put one in the back and then I, I put another one in the front just to kind of give it a, a, a little more finished look. And you can do that as, as well. Um, you can just actually uh, use an extruder if you want to, but I use this. I took some clay and rolled it out in a long um, piece and then I opened this up. This is kind of hard to do that, but you can hold it with your hands and then you place your clay right in here. Uh, let me just do that for you. I'll just take a little piece and show you. Take it and lay your clay right in here. And of course you would want the clay to fill all the way down to the end. Make sure, make sure you've got it in really, really well. Set it down, push it in, push it in, push it in, push it in, squeeze it a little bit. And just make sure it's getting the form you want. And then you can take time and pull it out. See? And we could put perfect pearls on this too and put it on here. But that makes a, a kind of a little rope. It's kind of pretty. This was, I bought it at Hobby Lobby and I Boy, I'm not remembering how much that was, but there's two different sizes. This is the larger one, and this is a smaller one, and has a different imprint on it. But um, I, I can see using this in a lot of different ways as well. So that would be a handy tool. Check Hobby Lobby. I'm sure there's other places that have them too in the bakery department. So that is what I wanted to share with you today. <clears throat> and I don't know if I showed you this or not, but these are some of the... Um, charms that I am thinking about putting on my necklace, hanging it from the bottom of this. 
this necklace? Just one of them, not all of them. Because as you can see, I added beads. I had a lot of beads to the necklace. So, and you can do what you want. I used a little bit of chain um, around here just to hold it together. And you can, you can do with it as you like. So I hope you liked that. It was kind of a quick little video. But um, if you do like it, I would appreciate a thumbs up down below here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I would love that too. So you have a blessed weekend. I am going to be traveling to see my mom in South Dakota. And I look forward to spending some time with my 90-year-old or 92-year-old mama. And I, if your mama is still around and you can spend time with her, I hope you are able to do that as well. But to all of you who are moms, happy Mother's Day. Just be blessed, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.